Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. I would like to share with you this video because it's really good and it's about sharing um, remedies. It's called Remedies Right in Your Home for Killing Viruses. And that would include any kind, even cold viruses, you know, the flu, anything that goes around. And this man I've never heard of, someone sent me this in my email. Let's see, that was Rose. She sent me this. Okay, thank you, Rose, because this is a good video, and I'm going to play a little bit of it so you can hear. I'm going to just cover this up and let you listen, okay? This is getting a bit insane, uh, the nature of our world today, over what? Right in your home, you have everything you need to support your health. And a respiratory system that's gone awry, okay, what's the big deal? So you have a sore throat, you have a scratchy throat, maybe your tonsils are swollen, you have a dry cough, you have maybe a fever that spikes, or maybe you just have the junk and you're congested. Who cares a hill of beans? It can't kill anybody. What has to be done is to understand the power of home remedies, what our God Almighty has given us, and you've got it right in your home. Why don't you take advantage of it? So let's go through the list. Number one is raw honey, a Quranic medicine, a cure for all diseases that afflict humankind. It should be a, it has to be raw, can't really be GMOs because the GMOs might make you sick. It's more complicated now. And so we can't have it feeding on canola. We have to find a source that's from nature. And ideally the beekeeper is caring about the bees and the nature and he doesn't feed sugar or corn syrup or GMO soy cake. And, and, and is fair to the bees, and then the bees will be fair to him and be more industrious. If you can find that kind of honey. If you can't, it's got to be raw honey. And, and so that would be for the sore throat, the congestion, for the bronchial, for the dry cough, incredibly good. And if you can get the really good wild honey or some kind of honey where they never feed the bees sugar, and there are no GMOs, you give it to the infant. I'm telling you right now, you better. It's been lost to us for now uh, 50 years since Merkin published the uh, uh, foul conclusions where he basically caused the honey to be banned from the babies. And that disaster happened, you should know, because they fed brown sugar to the honey. The brown sugar had rat droppings in it. So it had some botulinum spores and maybe the child got sick, maybe they didn't know, maybe he was sucking on something on the ground. Nobody even knows for sure. But uh, the, to, to condemn uh, God's favorite medicine, at least one of them, the second one would be, so, so honey also is an antiseptic for the gut. And think about it anyway, bees, 50,000 of them shoulder to shoulder, they have to make something in there to protect themselves, one of which is formic acid. Other are antibiotics that they produce that are unknown that we consume and we benefit. And waste not, because it might take a bee a lifetime to make even a teaspoon. But now, what else could we find? Who doesn't have some garlic in the house? And it could be the powder, but better is the, is the like the raw form. And if we had the garlic, we could chop it up and eat it raw, and so acrid. Anything acrid is going to stop whatever might hit you. It's guaranteed. And so, uh, we could also chop it, if we couldn't handle consumption, and put it in soup with some onion, and then smell the broth, inhale it, also uh, drink it. And okay, that was about half of it. And uh, anyway, I just like the, is the way he presents it. And... Um, you could tell he's very passionate about these things and I thought you would enjoy this and uh, I wish I had some raw I have the raw honey I actually have some raw organic honey thanks to one of you if you're watching this you know who you are you never comment <coughs> I am doing better since doing the breathing treatments but my doctor went ahead and 
finally it's called in some prednisone this morning. I'll get it probably sometime today. I'm going to go ahead and take that because this can take days to go away. But I wanted to share this video and for now, this will be it for now. So I'm going to say, um, I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this so it'll go up. And I hope his, because we, we had a right to know how to take care of ourselves when they don't have the answer for how to treat viruses. So if we have a few things around our house that can help, then we should do those things, right? All right. And they have no right to not let us know. And uh, this went up on August 5th, and it's still up. And today is um, August 11th. See, it's 10.14 now a.m. Okay, so I'll plead the blood of Jesus over it and over myself and my computer and my internet connection and over each and every one of you and all of your devices and um, um, your internet connections. And my shirt today says... Um, in the end, all that matters is truth, period. It doesn't matter what you believe. And way under that it says, Why are there 30,000 Christian denominations? They can't all be right. Think about it. And that's the truth. They can't all be right. We can't all be right. So we have to consider the fact that we could be wrong about a thing or two and just have some humility to understand that we don't know everything. Nobody knows it all. Nobody knows the whole picture. Nobody has it exactly right. And so... But people need to be willing to realize they need to repent. That is something that is right. The truth that's from the Word of God, we can stand on. Because if it's in the Word of God, now if it sounds like it's not truth, you go back to the Strong's Concordance and you get all the meanings to a word. Because a translation could have something translated to where it sounds wrong. And there are some scriptures that are translated incorrectly. That's where discernment comes in. So keep praying for the Holy Spirit to uh, fill you, fill you, fill you full and give you the powers the gifts that come with it, including praying in tongues. And you want that gift of discernment and more and more and more wisdom. All right, with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.